All this month, we're talking with performers from a Minnesota holiday, Volume 12, and enjoying their song. And that's the CD you can find exclusively at Kowalski's. This year, all the proceeds go to Second Harvest Heartland. I recently Zoomed with singer Sarah Renner about being on the album. Sarah, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us today. Good morning, Heather. Great to be here. Yeah, so you have been part of a Minnesota holiday for six years now. Uh, what, what keeps bringing you back every year? Um, well, every year and this year especially, um, it's it's pretty painless. You know, I already I already recorded all the music, and I'm asked to contribute a song, and I do, and and all the proceeds go to a great cause. Mm -hmm. um, this year, what better than uh, Heartland Second Harvest? Right. And how do you say no to Phil Thompson, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, tell us about a little bit of what are you singing on the CD and, and why did you why did you choose that particular song? Um, well, I'm running out of songs, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Six There's years in, yeah. Songs on the record. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas records. So um, we haven't done Joy to the World yet. And, you know, that's a good Christmas song. Mm -hmm. People like, excited to do that one. So, uh, you know, we've been seeing, I think, a lot more people perhaps put up lights at Christmas, uh, maybe do, a, you know, a little bit of extra giving there. Do you think with these songs, people are, are just taking some more comfort this year? You mentioned, especially this year, in these sort of traditions that we are, give us comfort in these Christmas songs. Well, you know, Christmas 2020 is going to go down in history as the weirdest mm -hmm. Christmas ever, uh, for sure. Um, my mission in life, you know, I don't have any kids. Um, my legacy is music. And what I want to do is communicate hope and light. I'm healthy and I'm working. And I feel like um, I want to be part of spreading hope and joy. Mm -hmm. um, People that need it and Christmas songs even though for me Christmas is a frantic time and uh, honestly I don't love it <laughs> <laughs> I get it <laughs> um, I, I, I know that it does provide comfort mm -hmm. I know that the Christmas lights um, do give us a warm feeling and that there's a comfort in um, in those traditions and mm -hmm. especially with music um, music has a way of just um, just getting past everything and going right to the soul. Right. And, and sir, I, I get it, though. I mean, this is, a, this is a stressful time during a stressful year. I'm glad to hear, though, you say that you're working. What else have you been up to during this pandemic? Well, I work for St. Andrew's Lutheran Church in Mount Amidi, and uh, once March hit and um, churches closed, um, everything had to be video. Um, so we have been uh, producing worship services every week, and, and that's uh, one of my roles there. And, you know, it's a new skill set. Uh, <laughs> I admire what you all do over there. <laughs> and especially, you know, just, just, just down to, the, to, the, to, to like having to do my hair and yeah. makeup all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just to, to, to not brush my hair. Yeah, there we go. 2020, not brushing hair, learning how to pivot. Put on makeup, do the Zoom. Well, Sarah, it's really great to hear from you. We're going to hear a song from Sarah right after we get a check on the weather. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Next year, all our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay Next year all our troubles will be miles away Here we are as in golden days Happy golden days of yore Faithful friends who are dear to us Gather near to us once more the years we all will be together if the Lord allows. Until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. And have yourself a merry little Christmas. 